Hey, what's up, y'all? Pete here. Just wanted to uh, create a short video to show how easy it is to use copper ports. I'm uh, really excited to uh, add this component to Coplock. It's a sister site. A lot of love goes out to my friend David Freeman and Joey Freeman, who've done a lot of the heavy lifting constructing this site. Again, it's a place where you can share uh, details of interactions you've had with law enforcement employees. Um, you can also search. It's essentially it's a database. So instead of uh, going to your local police department after an incident and filing internal complaint and um, hope hope that something happens that way, we all know how that usually goes. You can come to Cop Reports. Uh, you can click on File a Report, share all the pertinent information, and then it's clear. It's accessible to anybody. It's transparent, and the record's always out there. It's not going to be hidden. It's not going to be. Um, overlooked it's not gonna anything like that this is really a, a system for based on reputation and based on responsibility for one's actions so uh, it's again it's a searchable database it's I think it's gonna be a very powerful component and I'm excited that it's now online I really encourage you to check it out and use it um, because at the end of the day p individuals are responsible for their actions whether they have a badge on or not and uh, but the way the world works right now, unfortunately, is that some folks uh, who claim more rights are afforded more rights. And that's only because, you know, again, I think there's a lot of misinformation out there, uh, thanks to government schools, thanks to the mainstream media, where we're told since, since we were kids to look up to these folks, to look at them as authorities. And uh, that essentially creates a double standard. And when that double standard is created, you know, there's no check to, uh, uh, to, to cause that to stop until you and I realize that we own ourselves and, and these other folks don't have extra rights. So until that happens, until you withdraw your, the authority that you grant these folks, um, they're going to continue to get away with stuff and they're going to continue to judge themselves and interpret man-made legislation uh, to, to side with themselves. You know. Um, so anyway, uh, moving on, I just want to show how easy it is to uh, file a report. This is really the uh, heart and soul of this site of cop reports. So uh, to do that today, I'm just going to um, in enter some information about a guy that if you're familiar with cop lock, you may uh, know of named Todd M. Dodge. He was uh, the lead arresting officer down in Greenfield, uh, Massachusetts in, uh, back in 2010 when uh, Adamo Freeman and myself were arrested. And uh, uh, from that, we got uh, eight charges total. You can check it out, coplock.org slash Greenfield. But uh, everything after a year was either dropped or uh, we beat in court. And that includes uh, some felony charges for wiretapping. So, again, it really goes to show just how powerful it is to, uh, if you haven't done anything wrong, but you're being harassed by someone with a badge, to make clear uh, the incident and to encourage folks to uh, rally to your support. Because if, if you document it with video, if you're, if you're clear with everything and you're straight up, then these kind of things will happen less and less. Uh, it'll deter the bullies knowing that, that their actions could be uh, made public and they might be held accountable. So I just want to, again, show how easy this is. So I clicked on File Report. You'll see it says Steps 1 of 4. Uh, real easy uh, to go through this. I'm going to go down here and select Massachusetts. Uh, the county is Franklin County. Agencies, uh, Greenfield Police Department. And the officer's name is, uh, again, Todd M. Dodge. That's who I'm going to uh, enter here uh, as, a, as a test. I, actually, I don't even think I have his badge number. Uh, the phone number, um, here I am on the Greenfield Police Department website. I appreciate the, all the uh, information here that's shared. It makes uh, contacting these folks much easier. And um, uh, so, again, this is just essentially it's a process of, uh, the more information you can share, the better. The more uh, more ways. And I actually found Todd and Dodge on Facebook. So, <laughs> um, looks like he's enjoying a beer, probably with some of his colleagues there. But uh, anyway, put his social networking site on there. Click on next. So again, the more information you can share here, the better. The more uh, other folks are able to easily get up to speed on who the individuals who acted the wrong are, how they can get be contacted and things like that. That really helps um, this site. It really leverages this site and the power of this site. So uh, type of encounter now. I'm going to, uh, let's see. 
Sidewalk stop, please call the scene. Other. Well, we had, uh, Dan and I had some like, multiple interactions with, with Dodge. So uh, we had first interacted with him uh, in a parking lot when he approached us, asked us if we were going back up there, back up there being the jail where we were going to bail out some friends. So that would sort of be a, a sidewalk stop. Um, but he did come to the jail short a short time later when we were attempting to bail out our friends. So uh, that could technically be said, police called the scene. I'm just going to choose other right now. I'm going to choose civil rights violation, illegal search. He and his colleagues went into my RV, Marv, without a warrant, um, from which I incurred a couple other charges of, of misdemeanor VIN manipulation, a felony wiretapping, or sorry, a felony uh, ammo charge. They claimed to have found some ammo, 40 cal ammo in the RV. Um, those charges were later dropped. I went to court. I was going to argue them, and uh, I was, when I was waiting out in the hall, I was told by uh, the DA Bankster that... Um, they were dropped. So anyway, harassment, I would say, lawful detainment. We were kept overnight. We were uh, kidnapped and caged on frivolous charges. Um, unnecessary violence, I don't know. I guess I'll choose that one. He's uh, He was definitely aggressive. He wasn't uh, wasn't a good guy. The date this all happened on uh, June 4th, June 1st, that's right. Uh, time of the encounter, we first encountered Dodge in the parking lot of the nearby grocery store, I'll say about uh, 6.15 p.m. Uh, picture of officer, that's a good That's a good question. Um, let's see if there's anything that comes up here when we search his name. Uh, and if there's not, if there's no picture, yeah, here's a, here's a picture. But if there's not a picture, you could always do a, uh, a screenshot if you have video of the person in question. Uh, so I'm just going to save this image. Todd and Dodge to label properly. Go back to cop reports. My computer's running a little bit slow. I have a lot of things going on, so I apologize for that. Um, probably went to my downloads. And then I'll choose next. So. This again is a way just to get a lot of information out there. Now this is asking for my information. I'll, I'll uh, share a little bit of this. The purpose is for future reference. There might be some, uh, yeah, as it states, statistical analysis done. One of the folks looped into this project, Joey Freeman, is a statistician. He approached us a year ago with interest in getting involved with cop lock, and at the time we really didn't have a good fit. But uh, when another gentleman named David stepped up, who was a database back-end guy, they uh, were able to team up and create this site. So, uh, again, really excited to see it happen. Gender, uh, I'll say I'm male. Ethnicity, you know, I really don't look at that kind of stuff myself, so I'll leave it out. Action taken, um, yes, that was done. That was done. I filed a complaint. Attorneys were contacted. Again, we, uh, we Adamo and I represented ourselves pro se in court, uh, got all those charges dropped or found not guilty, and uh, are currently pursuing a civil suit, so we'll see how this goes. Um, my email is fine. Coplock.org. And then next. So then there's a report title, encounter summary, and a video link. And again, this is your this is the place where you can share an overview of what went down. The more uh, detailed you can be, the better, because then other folks can more easily be brought up to speed. Obviously, if you're in the situation yourself, you know what happened, you know what went down, but this is uh, where you can share the details. Try to be clear, try to uh, uh, be objective in, in what you write and things like that. So uh, title, summary, and video link. I actually uh, uh, already copied some of this stuff just to save time here on this video demonstration, but Essentially, all I did was, uh, here's the video I'm going to include, Todd M. Dodge gets cop locked. There's obviously a lot of videos uh, where Todd M. Dodge is included uh, just because of the, f the frequency of our uh, the interaction he had with us, and uh, this is just one that I thought would fit well. The encounter summary I got, I went to, uh, I went to uh, our meta post about the incident, coplock.org slash greenfield, which has a lot of related videos and like a ton of posts. And things like that. Everything that's related. So, um, I just went to the the write up about the incident and copied the detailed 
uh, post that I had made back on uh, June 4th, 2010 uh, about the incident. So again, I just, in the interest of saving time, I already copied all that text and I'll just uh, get it here again. Uh, and then I'm just going to paste this into that window on Copper Ports, uh, submit the report and should be good to go. That's it. It says, thank you for filing a report. It will be made public within 24 hours. And obviously, since I'm a, a site admin, I could um, I could check that out right now and uh, make it public, assuming it, it uh, fits all the criteria. A recent draft here. And I'm just going to publish it, check it out on the front end. So here's the post. So again, someone who's visiting the site uh, can read, can check out this post. Uh, all the information that was just entered on the form is now displayed here. There's a, a picture of Dodge. This is the incident overview here. Again, it's quite lengthy. It's probably longer than most of the uh, uh, submissions that are going to come through this file report uh, medium. But again, here's all the pertinent information uh, related to Todd M. Dodge, where he's employed, contact information, things like that. So again, this is an excellent way to uh, help hold folks accountable who especially because they're purporting to work for you and me they, um, and now this information for example uh, is searchable so if you're in mass and you have a, an encounter with somebody and you don't know perhaps the person's name you could do a search uh, based on any of this criteria and then see maybe who pops up see hey that's the guy that's the lady who was messing with me and uh, you can go from there. We can kind of build on each other's submissions. Another guy from Greenfield that's already been entered is uh, Todd M. Dodge's colleague, Daniel McCarthy, who uh, is kind of a creeper. He's uh, following us around quite a bit, harassing us, and uh, clearly demonstrated some double standards that he thought he had based on his uh, costume that he wears. So, again, cop reports. I encourage you to check it out. File a report for anything. This is, again, there's been... We, get, we got suggestions almost daily at CopLock to suggest that something like this be created, so I'm really excited. This is a great example of the decentralized nature of CopLock, just some good folks getting involved, creating something for which there's demand and for which will fill a need. So uh, utilize it if you have any feedback, if you have any questions, if it's not clear, or if you think some things could be tweaked and done better, let us know. Uh, my email is pete at coplock.org. Um, otherwise, there's there's uh, other information on here on, on how to get in touch with folks. So appreciate uh, appreciate you utilizing this and uh, looking forward to uh, one day not even needing things like this because the idea that somebody has extra rights based on their place of employment uh, will no longer be held by anybody. But until that happens, we need to make uh, the misdeeds of these folks uh, transparent. We need to be uh, focus on personal responsibility, not just vilify an entire department or agency or anything like that if you're wronged um, by an actor that works there, but, but hold that individual themselves responsible. So appreciate your time. Peace.